Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Josh. I am a wildlife photographer and I travel all over the United States in my truck and my camper, taking photos of wildlife and documenting the journey along the way. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Pro Media Gear TR424L. I got it right here. We're gonna go over everything. We're gonna talk about specs, build quality, features, who this tripod is really designed for. And then at the end, I'm gonna talk about my general opinions about the entire thing. Now for full transparency, I did get these tripod legs for free in exchange for this review video. I'm not getting paid. I do not have a script. I do not have anything I can't say. This does not need to be reviewed by them before it is posted. These are 100% my own thoughts and feelings towards this tripod. Now, I just got back from a week-long trip that I took to South Dakota. I went to the Badlands and I went to Wind Cave National Park and I photographed bison and bighorn ram and coyotes and I really put this tripod completely through its paces. Now, first we're gonna talk about specs. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, specs aren't really that important to me. I don't really let them influence my decision-making guide. Um, I'm more about how it's gonna perform, um, how it's gonna handle the weight, how it's gonna dampen vibrations and things like that. But for a lot of people, specs are really important, especially if you're a traveling photographer and you need this to go and check luggage or things like that. So we're gonna go through it pretty quick. So this is a four section tripod. It has 10 layers of carbon fiber. It has a total height of 77 inches, which is absolutely ridiculously tall. It has a max load capacity of 125 pounds, and when it's completely folded down, it has a minimum length of 26 inches. And then when the legs are completely spread out, it has a minimum height of seven inches tall. And it comes in at a very modest 6.4 pounds. Now that we got specs out of the way, let's talk about something that I'm really excited to talk about, and that is build quality. Now, you guys probably don't know, but in a previous life, I was a CNC machinist. I did that for five years. I did 100% stainless steel. So I have a very keen eye for detail and I'm pretty critical of machining quality. Now I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert and I am completely impressed with the build quality of this tripod and the machining quality. Other than the carbon fiber legs, everything is pretty much machined aluminum and it is aircraft grade aluminum and it is phenomenal. On most tripods, you'll see a lot of plastic parts or like a cast alloy, which is what my Gitzo had. On this, it is obviously all aluminum, which not only helps with weight reduction, but it also makes it a lot stronger. Now my Gitzo is cast alloy and the paint is honestly flaking off and it doesn't make me feel real great knowing that I'm leaving little parts of my tripod pretty much everywhere I go. And with this, because it's aluminum, I'll never have to worry about that. Sure, I might gouge it or scratch it or ding it or something like that, but I never have to worry about chunks of my tripod literally falling off as I go. Now my Gitzo is probably okay, but I don't wanna stress about it and it definitely has a higher likelihood that I'm gonna be somewhere crazy remote. You know, if I take a really long trip and I'm getting all this great footage, that it is possible that my cast alloy will crack in it and then I will be completely screwed. I won't have a tripod. It will no longer support my lens and everything like that. And that would be absolutely catastrophic. Now with the Pro Media gear, I obviously never have to worry about that. It would take a lot to crack this aluminum. And to be honest with you, I will definitely destroy the carbon fiber legs way faster than I do the aluminum and the carbon fiber is going to last me a lifetime. Like I said, everything is machined aluminum, not only the apex, but the leg locks themselves are machined aluminum, which is a really, really nice touch. On my Gitzo, it is not. It is a plastic with a rubber ring around the top. And while again, that is okay, it's not absolutely perfect. Now what's happening with my Gitzo is I'm trying to lock down one of the legs. I feel like it's locked, but what's happening is that the rubber is slipping around the lock and I'm getting a false sense that it's locked out. So what happens is I put my tripod down, one of the legs isn't locked and I can feel it shift. Now, luckily I keep my hands on it, but it could be catastrophic. If I put it all the way up 
and then one of them decides to go, my entire rig is going to fall over. But with the Pro Media Gear, there is nothing to slip. It's very tactile. There's a very good grip on it. And as soon as I know it's locked, I can feel that it's locked and I know that it's good to go. Now, the features of this tripod are fantastic. It is very well thought out. Originally, I had asked for the TR424, which is the smaller brother of the one that I had now. Now, I was getting ready for my trip and it was getting a little bit close and I didn't want to run into any of the risks of having something happen with shipping and since pro media gear headquarters is only about 90 minutes away from me i decided to just drive down and grab everything myself and i am so glad that i did one of the co-founders tom honestly met with me and he talked to me for like two hours he gave me a full tour of all their facilities it was absolutely fantastic but what he did is actually talk me into the tripod that i have now which is the tr 424l and all the L means is that the legs are a little bit longer and honestly I am really happy that he did. Now the first feature that I really like is the length of the legs when everything is completely closed. Now because it's the 424L that means the legs are a little bit longer than they would be on the other one and with my Gitzo they were really short. Now with my Gitzo I used to have to unlock the second leg section, bring it down a little bit maybe like the width of my fist and then lock it back and then I would have to do that with every single leg to get it up to eye level. But then I had to make sure it was consistent enough that I could undo my half ball and then level everything out. And while again, it's not the end of the world, it did become time consuming. Now with the 424L, it is completely perfect right off the bat. I don't need to move anything. It is the right height the moment I put it on the ground and that is completely indispensable for me. Granted, it might have took 20 to 30 seconds to do it with the Gitzo, but that 20 or 30 seconds can mean a lot of time, especially if I'm kind of rushing to go take a photo of something or if something amazing is happening in front of me. I don't want to have to sit and monkey around with my tripod trying to get it the right height for me. With the Pro Media Gear, it is completely ready to go right off the bat. Now, the second feature that I really love is actually the angle locks, and it doesn't seem like something that you would be really stoked about, but the design of these is truly second to none, and they really thought it out. Now, with my Gitzo, it had these angle locks that you're probably accustomed to, where you have to get your fingers around this lock and then pull it out to extend the leg a little bit. And again, it's not the end of the world, but when you're in a rush or if you're wearing gloves, it can definitely be time consuming and it can definitely be frustrating. Now, something that Pro Media Gear did is it has the same style locking system, but instead of having to put your fingers in the front, there is a small button on the back of each leg that is for your finger. And what you can do is you just wrap your hand right around the leg and you can push it in and out super quickly. And it is really good when you're wearing gloves because the button is huge and it's easy to feel and it has a very tactile feel to it and it just makes opening up the legs that much easier. Now, speaking of leg stoppers, in my last tripod, I had a hard time getting down the ground level and that was because of a few reasons. One, the angle of the maximum leg lock position was a little bit too aggressive, the legs were a little bit too short, and I'm using a 75 millimeter half ball, which means that there's a small post hanging out underneath that allows me to level everything very quickly. Now in the last one, the half ball post would sit on the ground, making it extremely unstable, and I couldn't level out my tripod once it was down there. Now my only options were either let it sit on the ground and be unstable, or use a unsecured, unlocked leg position which definitely increases the likelihood that it could crash down. Now with the 424L, it is absolutely perfect. The legs are long enough and the apex position is perfect that you can spread it out, essentially be at ground level, but then still have enough room to use the post on the 75 millimeter ball. Now the last feature I really wanna highlight is the quick release top plate system. Now most tripod companies will have some sort of version with this, but a lot of them require a tool that you need to carry to do it but with the pro media gear it is all completely built in pro media gear has an integrated screw and then a safety catch that you push to completely take out the center disc or the 75 millimeter ball or something like that so it's extremely fast 
to swap around. And it's a two stage release. That way you don't really have to worry about it becoming loose and you dropping your head or your camera or something like that. You physically have to push the button to have it unlock and take everything out. This is really good if you wanna switch between let's say a gimbal head or a ball head. You can have them both with you and all you need to do is unscrew it a little bit, hit the button and bam, you're in whatever head that you wanna have. It would also be really good for those who travel with their cameras. What you can do is you can separate the legs from the head, reducing a lot of size. Now let's talk about who this tripod is really designed for. This is not a beginner tripod. This tripod is designed for seasoned wildlife photographers. Someone that is looking for a tripod that is going to give you the maximum amount of support, whether you have a ultra prime, something like a 500, a 600 or an 800 or something maybe even heavier. Someone that is looking for the lowest amount of vibrations absolutely possible, whether you're shooting in windy or blizzard conditions or on a coast and also something that is going to last a lifetime. This is not an incremental upgrade type of product. This is not something that you'll buy and then end up buying a better one. This is the pinnacle, the top of the mountain, the absolute apex. There is nothing better on the market that you can buy than this tripod. There is nothing that has more weight capacity. There's nothing that has larger legs. There's nothing that has better build quality than this tripod. This is absolutely fantastic. Now let's talk about who this tripod is not for. If you're an ultralight backpacker and you often hike 10 plus miles to go find your wildlife, this is not going to be the right one for you. But if you're carrying a 600 and an 800, you're probably not going to be walking that long anyways. If you travel a lot on airplanes, this is probably not the right tripod for you either. The minimum 26 inches is probably a little bit too big for checked baggage. You might want to look into the smaller brother, which is the 424, or you might want to look into the other line that they have, which is the 34 series, which has slightly smaller apex, smaller legs, but still has a huge load capacity. That one might be a little bit better for you. Now, finally, let's talk about how I feel about it. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm in love. This is absolutely fantastic. By far the greatest tripod I have ever used in my entire life and I have used a lot of tripods. I'm the kind of guy that's really hard to impress. I am often slightly disappointed with a lot of purchases that I make because I expect so much out of them. I really expect them to be perfect and this does not disappoint. Now these are slightly heavier than the Gitzo legs that I have, but I would gladly, gladly carry more weight to have these many features and this high build quality, I can confidently say that this is probably the last tripod legs I'll ever own. They are absolutely phenomenal. I cannot imagine a single thing that I would want that these do not have. And sure, I can't climb a mountain and I probably can't bring these on checked luggage. And if those scenarios ever come up, I'll probably just buy a 34 series tripod leg from Pro Media Gear. I will probably always buy legs from them as long as they're a company, they have my business. I am completely impressed with everything that they create and I honestly couldn't be happier. I know that this tripod is going to take a lifetime of abuse and I honestly cannot wait to take it on all of these expeditions and all of these adventures because I know they are gonna perform absolutely beautifully. Now, if after watching this video, you decided that Pro Media Gear is definitely right for you, please use the link in the description below. I am an affiliate, which means that I get a small percentage off of each sale that comes from that link and that link only. And what that does is it definitely helps this channel, it helps me, and it helps me go on way more adventures and way more expeditions and make more videos for you guys. Now, next up, I'm gonna be doing a video on the head that came with this, and that's the GK Katana Pro. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I really hope that was informational for you guys, and I really appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.